Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a hexagonal pyramid, 25 mm side of base and axis 65 mm long, which is resting on its base on HP with one of its edges being parallel to the VP. Also, it is cut by a vertical section plane at a distance of 8 mm from the axis towards the right side. Draw the development of the lateral surface of the left part of the pyramid. So in this problem statement, as we can understand, we have a hexagonal pyramid whose side measures 25 mm and also the height of the pyramid is 65 mm. Also the resting condition is, it is resting in such a way that one of its edges is parallel to the VP. So this, is par uh, this condition is possible only when the hexagon is resting on one of its corner, only then one of its edges will be parallel to the VP. Coming to the section plane. So the cutting plane here is nothing but a section plane which is taken at a distance of 8 mm from the axis towards the right side. Also we need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the remaining part of the pyramid. So now let us see how the solution can be drafted for this given problem statement. So let us begin by selecting the line option and drawing a XY line of thickness 0.18 mm so draw a line of any arbitrary length and let this be the xy line so now let us construct the top view of the hexagon pyramid so draw the initial edge of the pyramid which is 25 mm with the angle being 0 followed by 25 and the angle being 60 next proceed by constructing a line of length 25 and the angle being 60 into 2 followed by 25 and the angle being 60 into 3 that is minus 180 here next the edge length is 25 and the angle is 60 into 4 next proceed by completing the pyramid by 25 mm length and an angle of minus 60 degrees or simply 60 into 5. So this completes the hexagon. Let us just move this to a convenient position and show the copies of. So you can see that these two edges are being parallel to the XY line or to the VP. So now let us complete the triangular faces by drawing the lines joining the opposite corner points. So this completes the six triangular faces of the hexagonal pyramid. So this is the top view. Now let us draw the projection lines from each of these corners and intersect the XY line. So from here that is the apex, that is the point of intersection, the axis shall originate. So just zoom in and then select the intersection point carefully. And from here, intersect the XY line. From this point of intersection, we need to draw the axis line. So select the axis line from the line type and the axis measures 65 mm as per the problem statement. So this is the axis line. So now consider a continuous line of thickness 0.13 and then from the vertex or the apex, join it to the end point of all the projection lines drawn from the corners on the XY line. So this completes the front view of the hexagonal pyramid. So now let us go for annotation. So let us annotate the XY line first and also the reference planes as VP and HP. Let us begin from this corner. Let us call this corner A, followed by corner B, C, corner D, corner E and corner F. So these are the six corners of the base of the hexagonal pyramid. This is the apex O and inside the bracket O1 which is the center of the base of the pyramid. So now we need to annotate the front view. So this is the apex O dash followed by this corner which is D dash and here it is C dash and inside the bracket it is E dash 
and here we have got o1 dash and next we have got b dash and inside the bracket f dash and next we have got the corner a dash here so with this we have completed the annotation of the top and the front views of the hexagonal pyramid which is resting on the HP in such a way that one of its edges is being parallel to the XY line. So here we can consider the edge EF being parallel to the XY line or to the VP. So now let us move ahead towards constructing the cutting plane. So as per the data given in the problem statement, we need to consider constructing a cutting plane from the axis at a distance of 8 mm towards the right hand side. So before doing that, just show the dimension of one of the edges and also the dimension of the axis. So now let us construct a line towards the right side from the axis, which is having a length of equal to 8 mm. So from here, let us project this upwards and then try to intersect the entire pyramid. So this is the remaining portion of the pyramid and this portion of the pyramid is chopped off or it is removed. So now we'll go for a line of thickness 0.50 mm. So from this point, let us just darken the portion of the pyramid which is considered for the development. So this two complete slant edges are visible. But whereas only this portion of the slant edge on O dash D dash is visible and this portion of the slant edge on O dash C dash and O dash E dash is visible. So we need not have to show about the axis line. So just complete this portion. So you can just see that the distance between the axis that is O1 and this line will be equal to 8 mm and it is towards the right hand side of the axis. So this is how we need to construct the section plane or the cutting plane as given in the problem statement. So now let us mark the salient points. So now let us see that the first slant edge is OA and we do not have any point on this slant edge OA. So we'll just move towards the next edge that is OB. So here also the OB is entirely visible in the cut section part of the pyramid. So we'll just move on to the next that is OC. So O dash C dash is intersected at this particular point. But before we go for constructing or in uh, making a note of the point on O dash and C dash, we can just check it out that if you just extend this line, it is going to intersect the base of the pyramid also. So what we can do is first let us annotate this point that is it is intersecting the base edge that is BC at the point one and here it will be the point one dash and now we'll move on to the next slant edge so this is the point two that is on oc and here this is the point two dash and next we have got the other slant edge that is od and od is intersected by the point three dash here and we have got the point three here so this is the point three and next we have got the other edge that is O dash E dash and that point is 4 dash and this point is 4 that is on OE this point will be 4 and also you can see that this part of the pyramid that is the base edge that is EF is also intersected by this section plane and that point will be 5 dash so this will be 5 dash exactly behind one dash so let me annotate this as phi dash and this point is five here so that is on e and f so e to five or f to five can be considered for the construction so these are the salient points that we've got and next you can see that of is completely uh, a part of the cut section of the pyramid so we need not have to worry about those points so now we'll complete the 
top view of the cut section so go for the line of thickness 0 0.50 so this portion of the pyramid that is a to b is retained b to 1 and then ob is completely retained oa is retained completely similarly a to f is retained o to f is retained so f to 0.5 it is only till 0.5 so just zoom in and select the point of intersection and then from o to 4 on oe and o to 3 on od so these are the points also we have got o to 2 on the slant edge ob or oc so just select the point of intersection so this is the retained part of the pyramid whereas this portion of the pyramid is chopped off so you can just align all these numbers on this straight line that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so now we shall consider constructing the development of the remaining part of the pyramid so first let us open the pyramid completely so for that let us sweep the radius so you can just see that one of its slant edges that is od is parallel to the xy so o dash d dash itself can be considered to be the true slant edge so we are not drawing any true slant edge here and the true slant edge will be having a dimension of 69.64 so go for arc by center point select a line of thickness 0.13 mm from any arbitrary point let us consider sweeping an arc of radii which is equal to 69.64 mm so cut an arc of any arbitrary dimension from any arbitrary point sorry so then go for the line option join one end of the arc to the center point and from this point now let us consider dividing the entire arc into six equal parts so again consider arc by center point so from this point sweep a radii of length 25 mm because each edge will be measuring 25 so consider repeating this step for six times so that you get six equal parts So now let us take the line option and join this to the apex. Select the points of intersection only so that the base edges will be measuring exactly 25 when you consider drawing the straight lines. So from the apex, select the point of intersection, just move the cursor once on the arc and then the small arcs that you have cut so that will be getting the points of intersection so now we have got the arc divided into six equal parts go for the trim option trim this portion of the arc and also the arcs that were used for the construction so use the zoom in option wisely to remove all these portions of the arc that was used for the construction purpose so this is the cut section of the hexagonal pyramid now let us consider annotating this so this is the apex o and these are the six corners of the base of the pyramid a b c d e f followed by the slant edge which is going to overlap that is a so these are the six edges six corners of the hexagonal pyramid now let us join the six edges that is a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and then f to a so with this we complete the construction of the initial 
cut section of the pyramid. So now we need to mark these points on this pyramid cut section. So now let us consider marking the point 1. So 1 is on B to C. Either I can measure the distance from C to 1 or B to 1. So just go for the distance between measure B to 1 20.5 and this distance has to be marked on the edge that is equal to 20.5. So draw a line of length 20.5 on B to C and that will be the point 1. And next I need to consider the point 2. The point 2 is on OC. So go for distance between. So just transfer this points 2, 1, 2, 4 to this true slant edge. So go for the distance between. Now measure the distance between this point that is 2 and O dash which is equal to 44.57. So go for the line option. It is on this slant edge OC. So on this draw a line of length 44.57 mm. So OC you will be getting this point and also we need to mark the same point on OE. So, so consider OE slant edge and draw a line of length 44.57. So you have got this point that is 4. And next we have to consider constructing the point uh, 3. The point 3 is on OD. So go for distance between select the point O and the point 3 and then the distance is of 22.29 mm. So again here 22.29. So these are the points. So now go for the line option. Select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and also E to F we need to mark a point. So before we select this select point 13 again so just measure e to f or e to phi anything is fine so go for distance between let me measure f to 5 which is equal to 20.5 so go for the line option so f to 5 so f to 5 on the edge f e draw a line of length 20.5 mm and you get this end point so now select a line of thickness 0 0.50 so we have got the point 1 on bc so select this and next on oc that is point 2 and then on od the point is here on o to e point is here then from here that is e to phi so complete this edges now so all these slant edges are completely visible o a a to b o to b and then o to this part on the o c line and then o to this point on the line o d o to e on the slant edge this point and this slant edge that is O to F is completely visible. So this completes the development. Also highlight B to 1. Go for the annotation. So this is the point 1, point 2, 3, 4 and then 5. So this is the development of the hexagonal pyramid once it is intersected by a section plane which is at a distance of 8 mm from the axis towards the right hand side. So select the annotation and then write development here indicating this portion is the development of the pyramid. So go for the smart dimension, show the radii of this arc which is equal to the true slant edge and then the dimension of any one base edge which is equal to 25 mm that is as shown here in the top view of the hexagonal pyramid. So with this we complete the development of the given problem statement which is a hexagonal pyramid intersected by a cutting plane at a distance of 8 mm from the axis towards the right side. 
So with this, we complete the drafting of the solution. Thank you all for watching.